Hi, welcome to this relaxing study time session with Karina. In this session, I'll be making my notes with you all of evolution of horses of the subject evolutionary biology. My name is Karina and I am studying in BSc BA integrated course in India. This topic is amazing because this topic will cover the various stages and changes occurred in the horses. So I'll be using a ball pen and a black marker to underline and highlight important keywords. I am using my sixth subject notebook to write over it. I have Lenovo laptop and Samsung A6 Lite tablet where I have my digital notes for reference. I am going to use a note and app where I have my notes and I'll be using YouTube for reference where I'll watch a video of evolution of horses. This topic is a part of my class presentation that's why I thought let's revise the evolution of horses for the better presentation in which I'll have various key points to describe. Watch this video till the end and you'll get how I make my notes using various resources. My notes will be simple but include the mind map through which at the time of my presentation it will be easy for me to get the reference and start the topic. You can take my notes as an idea or a reference where you can use your own creativity to enhance your handwritten notes. If you'll have any doubt, you can comment down in the comment section or DM me at my Instagram account at the rate karina.yoga. I'll definitely answer all of your queries, questions and if you have any problem related to your studies, note taking or any query, you can ask me. I'll definitely try to resolve that. Meanwhile, you can stay to this video to know how to make simple notes. And what should be the effective note-taking process? For me, it is watching a video, writing with itself, and taking a reference. You may have your mobile phone instead of tab or laptop. Resources are just to help us. They do not restrict us to be something or to do something. Whenever in my 12th class I used to study with my phone, I was effective and now with laptop and tab I am too effective. Resources will just help you but you are the asset that will actually help yourself. One more thing. Just focus at one topic at a time. You can take a small topic to study. Sometimes our brain do not function faster with the longer topics. This evolution of horses topic is quite short. Which means I know it is a short topic and it has few pages. So my mind functions like that. 
so i take small topics because i know i can focus more on a short topic rather than a long topic because i need to divide that long topic into days it becomes hectic for me so this is a bonus tip for you all whenever you have a long topic try to divide it into short or just study its subtopics rather than just focusing on one long topic in a day the productivity will decrease if you take a whole topic in a day to complete or if you can complete a whole topic just divide it into subtopics and forget that it has a long topic or it is a long topic just focus on the short topics and you will be happy and contented at the time when you will complete your subtopics this is a tried and tested method by me i used this method to complete my syllabus when i have a vast syllabus to complete or or my msts or exams or for any test i use saturdays and sundays to complete my presentations my assignments this is the best technique for college students because usually we have our weekends off so we can utilize our weekends for study purpose where i know that in the afternoon i am not productive enough to study something i am most actively present in my conscious state in morning up to 10 to 11 am and after 4 pm so in 12 to 4 i try to be productive by consuming good content over youtube or instagram but i know in the morning and in the evening i am at my peak productivity so i use that time to study and also from 12 to 4 pm i create my own schedule and topics that are pending for study so that after 4 pm or after 8 am i do not waste my time to schedule it that's why i have a pre schedule to act upon and this is one of the best productivity tips i have
thank you for watching my video till the end i hope you are relaxed now and you'll study productively so see you soon in the next video till then bye bye and take care of yourself